Is everybody here? Okay. Well, you guys, um, I don't have a lot of time. So, so first things first is that um, this is the 12 year anniversary of Beam Me Up Scotty Mixtape and a lot of you have been with me for so freaking long. Repping me, holding me down when I'm not around. Y'all be going hard for me. Love you to death. Um, so because this is the 12 year anniversary, we thought that we would do something special. Um, I have never ever in life put my mixtapes on streaming services. I, you know, a lot of people have done that and I've never done it. So what we're doing tonight is we are putting Beam Me Up Scotty for the first time ever on streaming services. There might be like two or three songs that didn't make the cut for, for whatever reason. Um, but, but yeah, so for the most part, the whole the whole tape is gonna be on streaming services now for you guys. I wonder what's y'all what was y'all favorite Be Me Up Scotty song? Cause I was real I was recently listening to it and you know what I can't stop playing? I can't stop playing Envy and I can't stop playing Best I Ever Had and I can't stop playing Go Hard. Um of course Itty Bitty Piggy, uh Slumber Party, um Gia. So those were did you have a favorite? All of them are favorite. You can't pick one. Chat by. Um, okay. Well, those were my favorite. I was listening to them least recently. Um, so so shout out to you know, DJ Holiday. <clears throat> he he did my tape back then. Um, shout out to Deb, uh, Gucci Man, the whole Atlanta that was rapping me at that time. Thank you guys. Um um and and yeah so a lot of people showed me love on that tape which i'm very happy about of course Dwayne carter is on there he showed me lots of love um, um drake love you too deaf drake thank you for showing me love on that i don't know who else was on it but anyway so having said that um who so so because i i knew if i would just re-release the mixtape without putting out anything new i knew y'all would like, you know, cuss me the fuck out. So what I did was, I did a couple new joints for the mixtape. Um, so it's, so it's not, I know y'all was asking me, where's the cover art and this and that and this, number one, this ain't no TikTok shit. This ain't no TikTok thing, you understand? So, I appreciate you guys for caring about that, but this is, just to get back to the basics a little bit, um, to the essence of why I started rapping. Um, I started rapping because I love listening to people that, that you know, spit, like I love punchlines, that was always like my, like my favorite thing. And, and always made people like my favorite artists because of that. Um, so, I'm sorry, y'all, that my nose is running. Um, so, we wanted to add a couple other things to get you guys, um, to get you guys excited about the re-release re of the mixtape. And so what I did was I added a couple joints. So um, I did a remix to Crocodile Teeth. And then I did a record called um, Fractions on an old J beat. And I did another song. This is actually on an original beat but um but it's you know in the freestyle vibe it's still you know free freestyle type type things so so that's all in preparation of you know of course i'm working on the album for you guys um hi ali berry <laughs> um i'm working for the album um i just i might have uh, uh, uh 
looked upon a couple new little little things for the album yesterday too. So the album is coming soon. The documentary is as well. I'm really excited for you guys to see the documentary. I know you're gonna love it. Hi Beanie Man, I love you. Um but but no, you guys, I didn't want you to be thinking about this as some oh my god, we gotta, you know, this is Nikki's lead single. No, to answer your questions, because I saw a lot of you guys asking that on Twitter. It's not. Um, but it is very, very important. So, a couple things. Hi, Ming Lee. Okay, hi, Courtney. A couple things. Um, Papa Bear is doing great. I love Papa Bear. Yesterday, Papa Bear said, I mean, two, two, two days ago, he said, Mama. It was so funny. <laughs> he said, Mama. And I happened to be recording him. I was like, say it. And he kept on saying, Mama, Mama. And he was like yelling at me because I didn't realize he was saying it a bunch of times until I went back and played the, the video. And I said, oh, I see why my little uh, baby was yelling at me because Mama wasn't hearing him saying Mama all them times. And yes, so he said, Mama, I might put that out because it's so cute. But then on the other hand, I, 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 on the other hand, it's, you know, it's, it's like my baby. And I don't know yet. I'm so overprotective. I'm, you know, I'm Mama Bear. Um, but, but, um, so so those are the three joints if you if you are on my mailing list i did a really dope little letter for you guys that you will get you will get a letter from me it's going over a few things that just went down in the last few months for me um as always i have to tell you guys that i fucking love you so much um hi tama um because you always make me feel happy um, even when I stay away for a long time, you always make me feel happy. This little hiatus was really fun because I was, you know, in mommy mode, but also I went through like this crazy little writer's block for a second. And it, if you are an artist, no matter what you do, like you know how crazy it is when all of a sudden like you can't really flex your art the way you used to. So I did go through a little bit of writer's block and I was like, bam. And then all of a sudden, um, I got, you know what? I hit Drake and I asked him, I was like, yo, I'm doing this mixtape. Who got, who got the hottest shit out right now? Who should I jump on? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, here so he sent me something so that's one of the things that you will hear tonight it's called seeing green um that was drake sent it to me and asked me to get on oh it's, oh you got the nerve to be on my live drake you better call me right the fuck now it's going down the goat is on the motherfucking line what's up the goat oh i'm sorry y'all can you see my snot coming down no but you need to take it Y'all, yeah. my snot is coming down because right before I got on live, I got a really, a really beautiful surprise that I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you guys about it, but it was so sweet. I just couldn't stop crying. So after I did my makeup, I had to redo a little bit under my eyes and my nose because someone that I fucking love so much um sent me the most sentimental meaningful beautiful thing card and flowers and stuff like that but when i read the card i just i it made me super super emotional but um so how can i call champagne poppy because he getting one this live Y'all tell me how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Y'all know I'm dumb. You gotta find his name. You gotta find his name. Tell him to write something. Mm -hmm. He probably gonna hide now. He like, bitch, I ain't say all of that now. 
Where he at? He got to write something and then he hit his name. And they told me not to do it like this too, but I wasn't planning on adding anybody. Drake, type because I'm adding you. You can't run away. You've already shown yourself. And it's it's moving. It's so many people that I can't even pinpoint it. And this this happened. This always happened, Chad. Yeah, it's a lot. He's not even commenting. Mm -mm. Well, if I pause it and text, can I, um, will they still be there or will I take, come off of it? No, They'll still be there if you pause it. Yeah. Can they wait for a second? Yeah, you want to do it? Champagne. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Drake! Yay! I'm out here. What's up? Where you at? In these streets. Yeah, and other blood clad streets. I started yeah, blood clad streets. Yo, you know, you know, you know. Um, Nicki Minaj dropping music tonight. <laughs> no, oh, you did? You got get. You got get hit, bro. Come on, man. What's up, man? So you know, so you know, great. Nicki Minaj dropping some new songs tonight. I didn't know that. You don't know that? You got, yeah, you got to get Excuse hit. Of course, me, sir. Good. Of course, it's good. Excuse me, sir. You didn't know we dropping music tonight. You got to get hit. Huh? Oh yeah. So I'm, it's I'm, 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 motherfucking always in the motherfucking building. So go I'm doing on the motherfucking line. What up? Like don't what nobody up? ever, ever come motherfucking. Y'all not seeing him. Y'all not playing with him. It's the motherfucking art, artist of the decade and all of that. What's really good? <laughs> Young fucking money. YMCMB. Oh, I like that. The hey. I like that. Damn. You know I like when you go off like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to get him some Queen Radio Vibes thing. So basically, since we only, it's like five more minutes left. Yeah. So I was telling them that you sent me this um, record called Seeing Green. That's right. What, what made you think I would sound good on that? I mean, you know, it just, it had been, well, can I say who else is on it or no? It's a surprise. Okay, all right. Well, then, well, I, it's just been a really long time since. Since that, since that moment. yeah, it was just, it was just, it didn't feel right with you not being on it. That's really the best way I could put it. It was like, it was fun the other way, but it, it's, it's, it's epic this way, you know. So 
I just, we just, you know, I had some real heart to heart with you lately, like just about the fact that it's like, it's just your world. Nobody does this shit better than you. And it's like, when you're gone, you know, obviously Papa Bear's here now. So we are, you know, we, we understand the priorities, but you know, when you're gone, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure I speak for everybody in the live when it's like, yo, we really miss you. Like, we really miss your presence. And just like, we miss the bars. We miss the excitement that you bring. So it's like, you know, I just like, I've been on you lately to just, you know, you know what time it is. And you know, I'm coming over um this weekend too. So yeah, blood so we clot get to life. work. Yeah, two blood clot life. No, I'm really this there. Man, this man been saying he was coming to my house for the last two weeks, y'all. So now y'all got to make sure he come over here. While I lied to him, I, no, I swear I did this. He kept on lying. So I was like, yo, no, I'm cooking for you this time. I'm cooking steak, shrimp, and all of that. <laughs> and he's still, he still stood me up. I no, I didn't stand you up. That's not you. Don't make me sound like that. All right, no. But listen, on the real shit, I am, I love you so much, Drake. Like. So this, so just let me tell y'all the real shit. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it too much. He single-handedly got me out of my writer's block, and I'm never gonna forget it. And I'm gonna shout it to the fucking world on the mountaintops because that's the real shit. That's my hand to God. He sent me something, and it made me feel so competitive again. And I was like, Yo, what the fuck am I doing? Like, get, like, you need to start writing. And Thanks. whenever I hear Drake and Wayne. Rap, it just is always going to inspire something in me. But outside of Drake's raps, it's his like pep talks. He'll he'll send one text that'll make me really like reevaluate everything. He's a fucking genius as a musical artist, but also just as a human. Like, please, everybody know that. Like, that's real shit. Like, that's, that's not very sweet. Shit. Um, and so I love you very much. You I'm guys, not. it's about to, the song is about to come out. I'm going to try to go live tomorrow, y'all. I'm not in, get a lot of time because somebody came extra late. I'm not going to say no names, Tay, but he played his fucking no, stupid what? ass fucking what? stuff. What? As always. But you guys, go and listen to Steve wow. Green featuring the two goats, Drizzy Drake and Little Motherfucking Wayne. Go I'm going to pull up. Beat me up, Scotty, right now. Go listen to Fractions. And yeah. Drake Fractions is a fucking slap. So it is a, is a slap. And and tomorrow tomorrow I'm pulling out my um my YMCMB sweatshirt, the old one with the Birdman logo on it, like just for you know what I'm saying, just because. But listen.